Hello everyone, today I am going to be doing a lovely lash haul. I have accumulated a lot of lash things over the last kind of couple of weeks. Some things have been very kindly sent press samples from the lush ladies and some things have been things that I've bought so I thought I would just show you some of the things that I've got which I'm super excited about and also just can't stop raving about and things I just really love that I've just been replacing or buying more of. So most of the stuff in here is like spring things, things that are coming out. I've still got some, um, I've got a Valentine's Day box. So I'll start with the Valentine's I know it's a bit late for that, but I got this box and it is the From Your Secret Admirer. Ooh, and I know, sorry, it is a bit late on the bandwagon, but it's got this really nice little wrapping paper on it. Roses all the way soap and Prince Charming shower cream. So let's open it up. First thing is this really cute soap, which is a heart shape and a rose at the same time. And I think that might be a rose scent. Rose oil, Turkish rose oil. Mmm, oh, it's really nice. And Prince Charming, oh, I do love a bit of Prince Charming, in this little bottle here. And he is pomegranate juice, soothing marshmallow root, make a charming mix. Nope, no prints. I'll just make do with my carpenter. So I've got that box. Now, what's in this bag? Right, first thing is a bath bomb. This bath bomb called a sex bomb. Grab one of these for the ultimate sensual bath. Grabbing a pair is even better. Okay, so I don't know. It doesn't actually say what's in this one. This was from the Two Hearts um, gift box. I already opened that because I wanted to get a bath bomb out of it. But basically, this is really cool pink and purple and blue bath bomb, which I imagine when it's put in the bath will just be a really cool purpley colour and it's got a little rose in the top there which is super good duper cool. This bath bomb which is lots of roses on it as well. This is rose bombshell which is a floral spectacle of yellow rose petals. Oh my god! Well cool! I can't wait to use that. Sorry it got a bit darker. I just turned the light down so you can see things better. I can't wait to use that. That's amazing. A somewhere over the rainbow so Oh, it smells really good. It's nice little like gradient of soap there. We've got a bunch of carrots, reusable bubble bar. They they used to do these, but just in orange. But I think they've made them a little bit more psychedelic and made a variety. I love these ones. Mmm. But these are bath bubble bars, so that it's bubble bath. So you just run it under the water and bubbles will come up. I've got the kiss, which is the lip scrub. Got the Kiss Lip Gloss and Bouncy Bunny Shower Gel. Jelly. Oh my god. It's not, is it? Oh my god, it is. Oh, oh my god. It's a rabbit. Look at this. Oh, it smells so nice. I want to lick it. I'm going to lick it. Okay. Look at this rabbit. Oh my god. It's got a little face. A little bunny rabbit. A little alien rabbit. You remember those aliens used to get in eggs? They have babies. There was a mystery that they had babies. That's what that is. Get back in your pot with little ears are popping out. This is too exciting. That is well cool. I don't know what it is. It's really orangey. It smells really orangey and I've got it all over my hands now. Right, next we've got the very famous unicorn bubble bar. I love that. It's just, it's. I went uh, shopping with Rock and Roll Bride, Cat from Rock and Roll Bride. She wanted to get some, they didn't have any. She was very upset, but now they're in store and they're everywhere and they're so good. This is, yeah, basically a bubble bath and you run it under the tap and you get some lovely bubbles. You just crumble one bar under running warm water to create mounds of luxurious, indulgent film star bubbles in your bath and release the sumptuous essential oils. These are awesome and they look awesome and they're just so cool. You can do loads of these pictures. <laughs> okay, I've got this guy, which is a bath bomb as well, and it's got loads of petals in it. This one's called Tisty Tosty, and yeah, it's just got lots of petals in it, and it's in a heart shape. Really, really super cute. Um, probably going to make a bit of a mess in the bathtub, uh, so bear that in mind. Really fresh smelling. Oh, that's... This, to me, is the smell of Lush. Just so fresh and calming and clean. Oh, it's gorgeous. I bought this bath bomb for Matthew. He's literally recently just got into having baths, he's a shower kind of person, but he does enjoy watching me put my bath bombs in the bath. I'll be like, phew, and he'll come through, and then we'll put it in, we'll watch it together, and go like, ooh. But he's just recently started in getting into baths, so I thought I'd treat him to a bath bomb. This is called Sky Dancer, 
and it's a girl. What's really interesting with this is all the profits made from this, I learned in store today, profits from each and every one of these soft floral and licorice scented bath bombs will help fund equipment to satellite tag many endangered hen harrier chicks born in the coming years. They lay their eggs on the ground and poor little babes just get hunted with the tagging and the electronic like monitoring of the babies. We can make sure that they're okay because they're nearly extinct. So it's quite nice to know that. I've got a bubble bar called Karma and it's just super, oh my god that's amazing. This is another very lush smell. It's got glitter in it. It just smells super duper like, kind of hippie-ish. It reminds me of like incense. I really like that and it looks really super cool and yeah, so bubble bar. <laughs> I got it on my lip. <laughs> right, this one is another bubble bar. I have baths very frequently and baths are the only really thing that can make me wind down properly. If I'm feeling stressed or upset I have a bath and it's kind of my first port of call for remedy and so I really 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 enjoy having a really nice bath um, and I look forward to indulging in a nice bath bomb or a nice bubble bath. So this one is a lavender one. Again looks like another unicorn horn actually and it's called a French kiss and this is basically like lavender and stuff. Again I got this one just to help me relax. I got another tub of dream cream, recently be, um, getting my new tattoo. I am running out of dream cream because, well I use it a lot, A because it's really good for your skin and B I've had a lot of tattoos well, last year and I just got through my tub so quickly, it's nearly gone and so I got another tub because obviously I've got a new tattoo and it's likely that I'm going to get more or just it's just good for, for my skin, it's really really lovely and I don't know, I just really like dream cream, it's, it's a good cream. It's a good cream. I got one of these. This is a damaged hair oil. It's, yeah, it's called damaged. And basically the idea with this thing is you put it in hot water and it melts in the hot water in like a mug, like a, like one of those hot chocolate things. And you do that and it melts and all the goodness and all the goop goes into there. And then you pour it over dry hair, leave it in for 20 minutes and then shampoo it out. This is probably the best hair mask I've ever used in terms of feeling the results. I have used so many different varieties of hair masks. Packet ones, bottle ones, expensive ones, cheap ones. And I've got to say, this is the best one I've ever used because the day after my hair felt incredible. Last thing is my favourite bath bomb. Other, Intergalactic is my favourite. This is my second favourite and this is called the Experimenter. Um, and it is just incredible. Look at all the colours. That goes in your bath and it's like, wow, amazing. But I just, I really, I really like this bath bomb and I wanted to get another one. So yes, um, that is all my friends. Hope you enjoyed it and um, they're my picks from Lush at the moment. If you go in there and you see one, then be like, oh, Helen liked that, that was in her haul. <laughs> um, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and give me a thumbs up because that's really super helpful and cool. And yeah, big kiss, goodbye.